are ready for tomorrow's exam. So before everything, Shaba, I want you all to have your notebook ready with you, please. Keep a notebook with you, OK? And uh, wherever it is necessary, wherever it is daruri, try to take notes, OK? Try to take notes uh, because you will forget it again. Tamam? You may forget it tomorrow. So try to take notes because tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow, uh, you know, uh, will be very important for all of you because you came to come to university, I think for three or four months. I don't know how many months in level one. So so all of you should pass. All of you want to go to level two. So writing can help you a lot. Shabba. Writing can help you a lot to go to level two. So uh, and it is easy if you if you. Focus little bit in your writing, if you, you know, practice hard, even now tonight, if you practice very hard and uh, review everything for sure, tomorrow you can write, uh, you know, uh, uh, nicely and you can get a good mark from writing. So Shabab, I want all of you to be jad, to be serious, to be serious. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, and try to take notes whenever any points no cost I say uh, uh, please uh, uh, take notes and uh, uh, I try not to ask you questions a lot Shabbat, because we don't have time to ask questions and all so I just keep explaining I will keep explaining but I will give you the chance to ask your question after I finish Tamam Shala got it so I try to make it fast because we have only one hour. OK, uh, Shabab, let's start uh, with uh, in the first part. Uh, I want to, you know, uh, teach you uh, how to make sentences. I mean, I will make you familiar with different sentences. As you know, that writing can be about different topics. It can be about you. It can be about somebody else. For example, they will say that write about your friend. Write about your friend. The all the fair verb will be different, but if they say write about yourself, of course, again, verbs will be different. So all of you should know how to write about yourself and about someone else. So here it is very important. For example, I say that I work in the university, but if I say, but, but maybe they ask you write about your friend. Write about your father. So you should say, for example, my father works. See? The change in the fail, in the where, you need to do that. You need to uh, know how to describe what's, how to talk about someone else. So Shabab, in this workshop, first we talk about uh, different sentences, uh, different examples that you may uh, need it tomorrow, some some useful mufid, some useful sentences that tomorrow it can help you to write more. So first I will uh, I will talk about that and then, uh, I, you know, um, uh, we will talk about, uh, you know, uh, your final exam, which is task one is e uh, email writing. As you know that the task one question one is email and task two is you need to write a paragraph. Maybe it will be in present or maybe it will be in the past, maybe. So keep all these things in your mind that you should know present and past together. You cannot say that I, 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 I learned only present. No, so past also will be present. OK, are you ready? So please uh, Mr. Ma, uh, mute everybody because I want to start the presentation. OK. So first of all, uh, let's let's understand some kind of sentences, common mistakes that many of you do in your writing. First, I will teach you these things and then we will go to, you know, uh, how to, for example, uh, write a paragraph or how to write an email. Tama? So the first part. Many students make these mistakes. For example, they say that show they say that maybe they will ask you write about yourself. Who knows? Many of you make this mistake. So Shabab, do not do this khata. Keep it in your mind. 
OK, your grammar should be good. Do not say that I am live in every. This is wrong. No am. I live in every. Come on. OK, now there is one thing, Shabab. If they ask you about your city, your hometown, do not khali say that I live in every and khalas. No. What you have to do? You need to explain it more with related sentences, related information, murtabit, related with murtabit information. For example, I say that uh, uh, my hometown is Ibri, I, I, or you can say I live in Ibri. Ibri is located in north, northeast of Oman. See, I'm using more information. Makan, I'm talking about the location of uh, Ibri. Ibri is located in uh, northeast of Oman. Or you can say I live in Ibri. Ibri is a small city in Oman. See, you're explaining it more. And we teachers like it. We will say, oh, this student is not just writing I live in Ibri. He's giving also more explanation. So Shabab, keep it in your mind. When you want to talk about something, OK, when you talk about something, try to write more bit sentences explain it more details okay so this is one point that you should say maybe they will ask about your college your studies so many students say that i am a study uh okay i study or i, I uh, or i i studying at utah Ibri. you know this utah Ibri is uh, one of the uh, you know um uh, problems that you guys have it don't be confused, Shabab. Just keep it in your mind. Utah, it should be capital and hyphen, and then Ibri. Ibri is again, I should be capital only, not B. I should be only capital, but Utah, all capital, okay? At, at, I study at Utah, Ibri. This is also a very common uh, sentence that uh, many of you make mistake, so keep it in your mind. And Shabab, be careful, the spelling also. Spelling, don't forget. Okay, maybe they ask, about your brother. OK, maybe to ask you, they ask about you, they will ask you about your friend. You should know how to talk about it. For example, about the study. See how, how the word will be changed here. My brother study. No. Studies. I E S. You should know the fail here. It is important for us too much. The fail, the word. So you should be careful if you talking about somebody else. You should be careful about the fe'el, the verb, works, studies, uh, plays, you know, uh, uh, swims. All of them, they will get S or such kind of things, all right? So my brother studies at Utah Sibri. I study at Utah Sibri. Or I am a student at Utah Sibri. All of them are correct. Now they will ask about the weather. Many students even don't know the meaning of weather. Shabal, weather, weather, hot, cold. The weather of Ibri is so hot. It is very hot, you know, it's very hot. The weather is very hot. So, jow, you know, so you should know how to talk about the weather, the weather of. Don't say the weather in. Try to say it, write it down, take notes. The weather of, the weather of. So you should repeat it loud out, you know, with a loud voice tonight. These sentences, you should repeat them loud. Then it will go here. Otherwise, it will not be uh, memorized. So, Shabab, the weather, they will talk, they will ask you maybe about that. You will maybe you will get a question in the email or maybe in the in the in the second task. So you should know about these things. The weather of Ibri is hot. Or you can say that the weather of Ibri is hot during summer and it is cool in the winter for example hot in the summer cool c double o l in winter easy but you should know how to say the weather of the weather of the weather of tamam yes tamam tamam uh, would you please uh, share your screen my screen is not shared no so why now you're saying it i i was talking for one minute for 10 minutes, Samar, what are you doing? 
Because I was checking the members and with them. Ah, okay. And then nobody was talking about this, subhanAllah. So, Shabab, this is the screen. Why nobody was telling me? Okay, Shabab, this is the screen. Try to the screenshot. See, I am leave. Am is wrong. Live. I live in a brain. Or I am studying. You know, you should be careful about this. See the weather. I'm here right now. The weather of Ibri is hot. Shabab, Shabab. The weather of Ibri is hot. Don't say that it is. See, this is wrong. See, in also is wrong. Do not use it. The weather of Ibri is hot. Or you can say the weather of uh, Ibri is hot in summer and cool in winter. Okay. Now, Shabab, maybe they will ask you about the people. Maybe you want to talk about your hometown. You can talk about the people. The people. Remember, when we write about the people, we use the, the, the plural form of the word. We use are. We don't say the people is. We say the people are. The people of Ibri are nice. Now more vocabularies. Humble. Min mutawazi. Humble. Or you can say that the, the people of Ibri are helpful. They help. Generous. Kareem. Generous. Generous. Or hospitable. Hospitable, you don't need to know it. It is not in your level. Uh, let's go to this part. Shabab, they, you will see this sentence a lot. Maybe, you know, you will get a uh, information and maybe they, you may get a question about your family and you want to talk about your father and mother. Most of you make mistakes here. Okay, I want you to write a good English. So what is the common one? We say that my father is, don't say that my father job uh, is a businessman or such kind of thing. Don't write job mob. Khalli alatul, write it simple. My father is a teacher. Maybe your father is not a teacher. Khalli walli, no problem. Write kiss. Write lie. Don't, we don't care about that. Shaba, we care about your sentences. What you write. The more you write with a good English, of course, your, your mark will be better. So Shaba, when you talk about your father job, you can write it simply like this. Don't make mistake tomorrow. My father is a teacher. My father is a policeman. My father uh, uh, is an engineer. Huh? Simple. Uh, let's go to another one. Or you can say that some students say that my father is not working. Or my father, if you want to say yum like something, doesn't have a car. My father has a car. We should know how to use it. My father has a car, has a big company. We don't say that my father have a company. So be careful how to use have and has. When you're talking about someone else, yamlik. We don't say that my friend have a big house. La. My friend has a big house, singular, okay? So be careful about he and she, we use has. And we use, uh, when we want to make it negative, we use doesn't. So be careful about that. Or my brother studies at every university. Or you can say, my brother, see, we're describing. We're describing somebody, Shaba. So you should know how to describe what. My brother is 23 years old. My mother, maybe you talk about your mother, uh, about the job. This, this word, homemaker. Shaba, write it down. Homemaker. My mother is a homemaker. My mother is a homemaker. If you forgot homemaker, Adi, it's okay. Say that my, my mother is a teacher. Okay, it's fine. If you don't remember the homemaker, but write. Shabab, only write. Okay, with correct grammar. Okay, now here, there is a common mistake again. We, many students say that he have or my father have a car. Or my father have a a big company. No, as I said that for he or she use has. He has a car. My father has a car. My father has a big company. OK, about how to live. Of course, we say that my sister lives or she lives. But if I talk about myself, I say I live. No S. But if you're talking about someone else, S should be added in the fail. All right. She lives in Ibri. He lives in Ibri. Or my brother works. Sure. You're talking about somebody else. 
not about yourself. My brother works for the bank. So be careful about the fail here, sure. Okay, maybe uh, you get a question about likes and dislikes. How to talk about likes and dislikes for somebody else? It's easy. He likes homemade food, for example. There is one uh, thing that I will continue, I will tell you. He likes uh, homemade food, but he doesn't. Shabab, be careful here. Many students don't know how to make it negative. He likes, he doesn't like. Don't say he don't like. We say that he doesn't like. Remember, Shabab, Ahmed doesn't like. Tamam? Don't forget tomorrow. He doesn't like. My father doesn't like. Don't say don't like. Okay, he likes homemade food. He likes uh, playing football. There is one qanun rule. When you use like and hate your fi'l, if you're using fi'l, if you're using, you know, here, uh, verb, your verb will come with ing. I like plus ing, Shabab. Your fi'l should get ing. How? For example, like this. Or I like, fair. yeah. I like play football. No, say I like playing football. And give reasons. When you say I like playing football, give reason. This is another nukta. Give reason, Shabab. Use because. Because I enjoy it. Because I love it. Because I feel relaxed. True. At least use this word. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Because it is fun. Huh? So you need to. Give reasons. If you like something, give reasons. If you want to get a higher mark. Tama? I like playing football. I like uh, cooking. We don't say I like cook. I like cooking. I usually cook twice a week. I like um, uh, driving cars. I like driving cars. I like, uh, 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 what is it, taking picture. I like, I don't know, uh, uh, drawing. I like playing uh, video games. See, I like plus ing. This is also one nocta, and we want to see students know this when they want to write about I like, how they use it. And when you say that, and I crack, we use I hate, or I, I don't like. I don't like, or you can say I hate. I hating fast food because it is unhealthy. Sure. Or I don't like fast food or I hate eating. If you use hate, again, ING. I hate eating. But if you use don't like, it's OK, no ING. I don't like fast food. I don't like it. I don't like playing. Uh, I don't like, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, for example, um, uh, um, spaghetti. OK, now another uh, phrase or sentence that can help you a lot in the writing is there is and there are. Shabab, what's the meaning of there is and there are? In Arabic, say it. Unmute them, please. Sama, I'm on mute. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, what does it mean, there is, there are? Oh, nice. Okay, okay, g g give me a sentence, give me an example. If I say there is a mobile phone on the table, what does it mean? There is a AC in my room. There are two windows in my room. Moyani, there is there are. So simple, Shabbat. Huh? You get, you get. Ewa, ewa. Good. Now, please mute them. So there is, there are, Shabab, use it. Try to use it, use it in your writing. Try to use it because we, 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 we teachers give you mark, nice mark if we see these things. There is, if it is a singular, we use there is. For example, Shabab, say that you should khali wahed a shopping mall in Ibri. How do we say it? There is, there is a shopping mall 
or there is only one shopping mall in Ibri because it is Wahid. But more than one, you should use there are. You should say that there are, there are two shopping malls or two Lulus, okay, hypermarket in Ibri. There are uh, many clinics in Ibri. There are three universities in Ibri. So Shaba, write it down, take notes, and tomorrow before exam, try to review. Mumur, murur, murur, always. So there is, there are, means you did. There are, there are, there are many shops in Ibri. There are many restaurants in Ibri, but my favorite uh, restaurant is uh, uh, King Burger. There are many restaurants, many nice restaurants in Ibri, but my favorite, my, not I, my favorite uh, uh, restaurant is a uh, Turkish restaurant, for example. Like this one, there are many beautiful places in my city, sure, many beautiful places. There is a small shopping mall in Ibri, so remember that. Okay, another word is interested, Shabab, muhtam. When you want to, if you want to get higher mark, this is for those who wants to get higher mark. Shabab, we love to see someone write such things. For example, Ana muhtam to, uh, for example, uh, watching movie. I am interested in, again, in is huruf jar, preposition. The rule, the qanun of that is that after in, you should use ing with the verb. Again, like I like. You remember that? Here also the same. I am interested in playing football, not play. So muhtam, ana muhtam. When you want to say I like something, you can use also interested. I am interested in playing video games. I am interested in playing video games. All right. So I am interested in playing video games. Uh, kindly uh, um, uh, send the, 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 the link, Sama. Uh, uh, I think uh, somebody sent a, a message on Instagram. Check the Instagram. Somebody, uh, the sack is asking for the link. So I, I, number two, I'm interested in playing video games. Number three, I'm interested in music and sport. Okay, so so Shabab, I'm interested in learning English because I want to communicate, also communicate with people. See, Ali is interested in learning English. I am interested in learning English. I am interested in playing football. I am interested in uh, driving car. Means ana muhtam. Means I like. Okay. Uh, this one I repeated on time. Okay, number two. I'm from Oman. We 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 uh, we explained it that you should not use in. In my free time, Shabab. This one. This phrase also is nice. Shub, Shabab. Maybe they will ask you about your hobbies. When they talk about hobbies, that means they talk about. Are they asking you about your free time? They are asking you about your free time. Hobbies or free time. Kullu shay, all of them are same. So this, this phrase at the beginning of a sentence can help you a lot. In my free time, is it okay to say that go shopping mall? Do we say that in my free time, go to shopping mall? What is missing here? Of course, here I wrote it. In my free time, Anna, I. You should write for N, you know, should write subjects, Shabab. Don't make mistake. Many students do not write uh, the, 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 the subject. You don't say that in my free time, go to shopping mall, go to Lulu. No, I Anna, go, I go to shopping mall. Don't forget this. All right. In my free time, I go to shopping. OK, Shabab. Now, if somebody asks you about somebody else, talk about somebody else free time. How do you say it? How do you say it? Sure. If somebody asks you write about, you know, uh, uh, someone else, uh, uh, free time. So here, Shabab, be careful. We say that in, for example, you're talking about Ali. You want to write Ali's uh, free time, sah? So say that in his, in, in his uh, free time. Just hold on. I, I'm sending the link to one of my colleagues. I think some colleagues are. Uh, 
just hold on. Uh, I send it. Call, uh, I apologize. Wait, 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 wait. Copy. Shabab, can you hear me, everybody? My, my, am I audible? By the way. Yes, yeah, sir. For others also. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Because uh, one of my colleagues told me that uh, they cannot hear me. So Shabab, here, be careful. You want to talk about somebody else three times, huh? Here. Here you make a mistake. Ah. Yeah. You 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 don't know you you make mistakes in this part. If you talk about somebody else, for example, Ahmed's free time, we say that if it is a male, we say that in his free time. In his free time, he plays football. But be careful here. When you talk about someone, somebody else free time, we use his. If it's a female, in her, in her free time. Okay, so be careful. In her free time, he, she, she uh, uh, cooks uh, biryani. Okay, but if it's the if you're talking about your free time, it's easy. In my, in my free time, I usually sure. Uh, frequency of time, what is adverb frequency? Usually, often use this word. These words can help you to increase your marks above. Usually, often, sometimes, never, always. Write them in your writing. Tamam? Write them. Don't forget that. In my free time, I usually, sure, usually, I usually. I, I usually go to shopping mall. I usually go to, uh, what is it? Uh, um, um, I, I usually hang out with my friends. I often uh, visit my friends. In my, in my free time, I, I usually visit, meet my friend. So see, this will increase your mind. Okay, let's go to another, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, point. So here, Shabab. Uh, now we reached, uh, I, I told you so many points, huh? so many sentences, common mistakes, what to do, what not to do. Huh? In the uh, task two, question number two, you need to write a paragraph. What? You need to write a paragraph. Your paragraph can be about your city maybe it can be about your yourself maybe they will say that write a paragraph about uh, your friend describe your friend describe maybe your college maybe uh, 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 it can be all about these topics it can be present or it can be past be careful so what you have to do in task two shabab you need to read the question carefully. You need to read the question carefully that the question is in the present. They're asking the question in the present or no, the question the question is uh, about the past, asking something that happened in the past. So you need to be very careful whether it is present or past. Tama? So now we imagine that, you know, we're talking about present. So the first thing that when you want to write your paragraph is muqaddama. I don't teach you what is topic sentence. I know it is difficult right now to understand, but Shabab, Muqaddama is important again when you want to write a uh, task two, when you want to write a paragraph, not email. Paragraph, okay? Writing a paragraph. Then uh, we all know that uh, topic. I'm sorry? Muqaddama. Yeah, yeah. Muqaddama uh, uh, what? We all know that uh, this topic. Uh, نكتب مثلا ماي ونكتب الموضوع uh, اسم الموضوع mm -hmm. مثلا ماي فيفورت فري تايم اكتيفيتيز از فيري امبورتنت فور افري ون ان ذا سوسايتي يس فيري جود ذيس از فور اكزامبل مقدمه يس ذيس از فيري فور اكزامبل ذي ويل اسك يو رايت ا باراجراف اباوت يور 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 هوبيز سو يو يو سي ا سنتنس فيري جود فيري جود no one can deny that uh, this uh, topic is uh, very useful for mm -hmm. everyone uh, to write about I like uh, done in free time. 
عادي مش موضوع مثلا ريدنج ستوري اند واتشنج تي في ايوه فاينلي اي ادفايس ايفري ون ان ذا سوسايتي تو سبورت ذس توبيك بيكوز ات از فيري يوزفول ثانك يو يا ثانك يو فيري ماتش واتس يور نيم غسان غسان ويتش ليفل ار يو غسان شو مسب ويتش ليفل ار يو ليفل 1 Ah, okay, very good, Hassan. Thank you very much for your explanation, Hassan. Okay, so Shabab, as your friend also said that, you know, writing a simple muqaddama introduction is very important. You know, it can help you to increase your mark. For example, they will ask you, uh, write about your, uh, you know, uh, write a paragraph about your, uh, your, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, your hobbies. Write a top, uh, write, a paragraph about your hobbies. So uh, I know now it is too late to, to, to tell you how to write an uh, introduction and all, but very simple. You can start, for example, for example, this is just one example, Shabab. You can start it like this. This also we can accept that, uh, uh, you know. Uh, in this paragraph, I write about, for example, okay, here, yeah, describe your father, sorry. Describe your, or talk about your father. Describe. Describe your father. For example, this is your topic, Shabab. In 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 task two, describe your father. So how to write a muqaddama? That is important. I will not teach you everything about how to write it or whatever. But this is one simple example. In this paragraph, I write about my father. Okay. Or some some or you can say that family is everything is uh, family is everything to me. For example, this is uh, one uh, muqaddama again. Only one sentence can be okay. If you write one sentence, two sentence as a muqaddama, as an uh, as a introduction, that is okay. That is absolutely okay. So Shabab, the main thing is again here. Uh, uh, when they ask you about your describe somebody, somebody, you need to think at least five minutes. I want you. Not to start your writing a la tour immediately without thinking. So I want all of you to in tomorrow's exam, okay, before writing your uh, task one or task two, think at least for five minutes. Think for five minutes and collect ideas from where you have to start. You can write even, you can take notes, you know, uh, uh, the, the keywords, you can write the keywords, you can brainstorm, you know, you can collect the ideas. And then when you collected the ideas, then start writing. Because this will help you to write a good writing, Shabab. Okay? Of course, it, this will be easy. When they talk about father, you could you should you should know how to describe it. For example, uh, my uh, my father's name is Ali. He is 50 years old. About the job. Somebody now tell me. Yalla, about the job. Now you say, I explained it to you. I want one student, give me one sentence about your father's job. Yalla. Uh, my father is a policeman. Very good, very good. Talk about appearance, appearance, you know, appearance. Tall, short, he is. handsome. My uh, he is about your father, father. Appearance. Yes. Yeah, say it. He is uh, outgoing. He is outgoing. Uh, okay. No, no. Ap appearance means, you know, the look. Yeah. The look. Look. The look. How does it look? Outgoing is it's about uh, about personality, Shabab. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm talking about the look. He has. Say it. My father is uh, handsome. Mashallah. Mashallah. What does it mean, handsome? What does it mean in Arabic? Yeah, Jamil, Jamil. Means Wasim. Yeah, Jamil. In Wasim, Wasim. Yeah, Wasim. Hey, wow. Like my beautiful. father is uh, uh, tall. You can say my father is tall and handsome. This is about appearance. You know, simple word. My father is tall and handsome. Handsome, Shabab means Wasim. Uh, about likes and dislikes. Beautiful. Yalla, tell me, give me one sentence about your father. What does your father like and what does uh, he does it like? 
What does he like? Your father. Yalla, make a sentence. My father. <coughs> Say it. Say, what does your father like? Say kiss thing. Just make sentence. My father. My father likes like hard likes. work. Uh huh. Say it. My father likes hard work. Uh, and my, my and father like and father don't like uh, fast food. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Say it. See, don't like that. My father. Like hey, what? My father likes uh, hard work, or my father likes uh, uh, playing football, or my father likes uh, uh, swimming. My father likes watching movies, but continue. But but, but doesn't like. Hey, but what? doesn't like. But he food. doesn't like. But he doesn't like. Very good. But he doesn't like. Hey, what? He doesn't like what? Driving fast. Hey, well, yes, very yes. good. Dri uh, driving fast. Yes. Very good. Excellent. My uh, fa my father uh, likes uh, go to a visit, but uh, he uh, he uh, but he doesn't like uh, swimming in the sea. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, Shabab. Very good. Okay. Um, here. Uh, I try to make it fast. Shabab, maybe they will ask you about your university. You should know about how to speak about university. I study, I'm a student. My university has a beautiful campus. Campus, write this word. Campus means haram. Campus. My university has a beautiful campus. Haram. Another word that maybe it can help you, Shabab, is facility. This one, you have it in your book, I guess. Facility. Uh, for example, uh, canteen is one of the facilities in our co in our university. Canteen library is a uh, is a facility. We have we have different facilities in our university, such as library, canteen, uh, computer lab. These are all of them are facilities. Shabab, what does it mean, facility? Khadamat. Khadamat. Very good. Excellent. So this word also, if we see it, for example, for level one, of course, teachers will like it and your mark will be good. OK, subjects, what subjects? So Shabab, many students don't know what sub move subject, 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 Shabab. Subjects, you know, means math, English. That's it. How many subjects Mad. do you have? I have two subjects. Mad. Math and English, for example. I have two subjects in level one. And what is your favorite subject? I favorite subject, Shabab, we say that, or my favorite? Which one is correct? My. Are you sure? My. Are you sure? Are you sure my favorite or I's favorite? My favorite. My favorite. My, my favorite. Very, yes. Yes, very good. Many students say that I favorite. This is a very, very kabir, big mistake. I favorite, no, all right? My favorite, my favorite subject is English and give the reason. Don't only say that my favorite subject is English and tamam, finish. My favorite sport is football and finish. No, give reason because, say it, yalla, give me a reason. My favorite subject is English because Because what? To speak with other culture. Very good, because uh, I want to speak with other. Uh, I want to uh, speak. I, I want to know other culture because I want to know other culture or I want to uh, communicate with other cultures. Communicate because I want to communicate with other cultures or because I want to know. No, and I don't. I want to know other cultures. Or uh, my favorite subject is English because it is easy. Uh, because it is easy. My favorite subject is English because I love it. Uh, because I love it. That's it. Make it because simple. Because I need for job and future. What? Yes, because I need it for my future job. 
because I need it for my future job. Hey, wow, very good, excellent. Uh, this one, no need. Uh, about activity, this is the last part about activities and hobbies. You should know some, maybe they will ask you about hobbies and activities and you will be confused. Yeah, Rabbi, activities and hobbies. When they talk about activities, hobbies, about means same or your free time, hobbies, activities, all of them are same. Means hiking, cooking, playing soccer. Soccer means football, Shabbat. Don't always write football, football. By the way, foot. Ball? No, football is one word. Keep it in your mind. Football is one word. Football is one word. Together, you have to write, write it together. Okay? Reading short stories, hang out with friends, watching movies. All these things are hobbies or activities. So, reading so I'm sorry? Okay. And, uh, uh, this part, this part, this part here, I want you to pay attention. I told you before, Shabab, use adverbs of frequency means usually, often, always use it. I want you to use the one of uh, 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 often in your sentence. Yalla, give me a sentence with often. Use often. Use usually in your sentence. Yalla, come on. Oh, Shabbat. I often cook with uh -huh. my mother. Say, say that again. I often. I often cook with my mother. Hey, well, I often cook with my mother or I often help my mother in cooking. I often go to Muscat, uh, you know, at weekends. Or on yes, weekends. Sir. I and often uh, go to Dubai uh, in the weekend. Very good, Halas. Very good. And uh, do you know about once and twice, Shaba? Once and twice? Yes. Yalla, give me an example. I yes, play football yes. a week. Shaba, Shaba, slowly. Okay. Yalla, with once and uh, once or twice? I, I play, play football play once See, a shabab, week. Football. See, it is like that. I play football. Uh huh. It's a week. Ewa. Shabab, do you know that when you write these hello, nice sentences, we teacher will like it and we give good mark? Did you know that? But you don't. Many students, they, they forget. They don't write it. They don't write it. I play football once a week. Once means wahid tamma. Wahid, only one time. What about twice? Two times. I go to, uh, I eat or I have, I have pizza twice a week. Have means eat. Okay, okay. I eat, I have. I eat or have pizza twice a week. Means two times a week. That's it. So this is the thing that you need to know about that. OK, uh, now. Uh, in the first part, you get you get email. Shabab, sure. This is email. Now I'm showing you the, the real question. Sure, Shabab, you, you, they will say that I told you the first thing in email, you need to read the question carefully. Write an email about your hometown. You write an email to your friend. It can be anybody, Ahmed, Ali, whatever, who wants, read the question, who wants to visit your hometown. So these are the, 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 the information that you need to cover in your writing. Do not only answer that question and that's it. No, you need to explain it more. For example, how, okay, Shabab? So uh, it is not necessary, Shabab, to write it with dear Ahmed. It is okay. You started with dear Ahmed, it's okay. Or you can start it with easily like this. Hello, Ahmed, but H should be capital. Remember, even if you're writing dear, okay? If you're writing dear, shop here, it should be capital. Dear Ahmed, for example, here, I write it. Dear Ahmed, capital. Ahmed should be capital, the first word, and comma. Or you can say that, Alatouri said it, hello, Ahmed. 
Hello, Ahmed. Ah, these both that? of them are correct, Shabab. Both uh, of them? Yes, tell me. I can uh, write friend. Yes, friend. A1, A1, A1. Dear friend. A1. Absolutely okay. Nice question. And then, then you can say hello, uh, hello, friend. How are you? But you can start it with that. Adi, sure. How are things? How are you? You can you can start like that. And then you need to explain these things. See, your friend wants to come to your city. You need to tell these things, this information to your friend. For example, you should say, where is your hometown? How he, your friend, can get there? Get there means go there, reach there. How is the weather of your hometown? So you need to uh, make sentences. You need to make sentences. Okay. So uh, I wrote it in an easier way. See, this is, this is the way that I, I wrote it. Uh, so th these are the things that you need to uh, keep it in your mind. Uh, do not answer only the given key information. Um, here, see, dear, whatever. I hope you are fine. Uh, or uh, how are you? I'm happy that you are visiting my hometown. For example, this is just one thing. Or you can say, let me, let me, let me tell you. Okay, you can say, I want to tell you uh, about my Excuse hometown. Me, sir. Yes. Oh, Excuse me, sir. Uh, would you please explain also the other file that uh, has the notes about the different topics? Uh, no, no, no. We have four minutes only, unfortunately. The level two. Uh, uh, would you please take care of level two for 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 ten minutes? Uh, Miss Moza and Miss Samia, they are attending oh. here. They will be here and they can explain it. Yes. But but the link is different for level two. Yes. Yeah, I sent it to them. Oh, yeah. that's great. So they are ready yeah. to, to cover it? Yes, yeah, sure, yes. Okay, great, great, great. Okay. Yeah, I'll be with them now. I'll go oh, ahead. perfect. Thank okay. you very much. Because that's why I was in a hurry. That's why no, I was No, no, don't be in a hurry, sir. It's okay. You can take your time with the students or, here. Or, Ms. Reba, you can, you, can, you can explain this one. If you want, I can go there uh, to level two. What do you think? It's okay. I'll go to level two now to check Ms. Moza and Ms. Samia. If, okay. If they were not available, I'll come back to you. Yeah, hello, Samar. Okay, shukran jazila. So, uh, Shabab, this one, see, uh, we say that uh, I hope you are fine. How are you? You can start anything. How are you? Uh, uh, I want to tell you about my hometown. I want to tell you about my hometown. Or let me tell you about my hometown. Let me tell you about my hometown. I want to tell you about my hometown. Then you start. OK, then let me tell you about my, don't say your, my hometown. OK. OK, see, my hometown is Ibri. You see, my hometown is Ibri. Full stop. Khali, my hometown is Ibri. Do not stop it. You need to explain. I told you, when you talk about something, I want you to explain it more, Shabab. Give more of it uh, 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 information. Like this, Ibri is a small city in Oman. It is located, located, it is located. Uh, wait, wait, this light is killing me. Uh, it is located. Uh, it is located in northeast of Oman, or we can say it is located in north of Oman, Shumal of Oman. See, it is located in north of Oman. Khalas. Then, what is the second question, Shabab? The second question. Uh, let's see. What is the second question? How? How he or she can get there? How she she can get there? I mean, how she can go there? So, how do we answer it? See, here, you can come. You can come or you can go there or you can come to my hometown or you can go to my hometown or to my city by bus or taxi. See, this is the same. But I'm not just saying, you know, you, uh, uh, I'm not stopping here. I'm giving now more information about this part. 
See, I'm writing it is two hours far from uh, Moscow. Means uh, your hometown. My hometown is two hours far from Moscow. Now, another question is the weather. They hardly they give you the weather, but you need to make a sentence. You need to make a sentence. That's why I told you all those sentences, Shaba. Now, how to make a sentence? See, the weather of Ibri is often or usually or is hot in summer and cool in winter. That's it. And here, extra information again about the weather, extra information. I think you should visit, visit or come. You should visit, you should come to my city in winter because the job is nice, no? I think you should come to my city. You should visit my, uh, my city in winter. OK, what is the next question? The activities he or she can do. What kind of activities your friend can do if he comes to your hometown? What? So you need to make a sentence. See, you can, you can visit historical, write it down, Shabab. Historical, play, historical places, historical places and experience tajruba and experience traditional Omani foods. Shabab, what's the meaning of traditional? Shabab? Traditional. Taqlidi. And you can Ewa. and experience or eat. You can say you can visit historical visit historical places and eat traditional Omani foods. Eat and eat traditional Omani foods. Be careful, Omani O is always capital. Okay. Then, Shabab, is there anything? No. This is the last part, sir. This is the last part. You should remember that you should also close your email. You should say something like, thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Write a one small sentence to close the email. See? I hope to see you soon in my city. Or uh, see you soon to my uh, in my city. I love to see you to to see you in my hometown. This, this is closing, and then you can say, for example, take care and Ali. These are optional. You can say even take care, halas, uh, or you can say take care and then your name, Ali. Some students write regards. Okay, if you write regards, okay. Some people write regards, comma and their, your name. OK, that's that's absolutely fine. You can write uh, regards or take care. What does it mean? Take care, Shabab? Do you know? Take care. Yeah. Hey, well, take care. Ali. And, and this is your name, Ali. Halas. That's it. So just hold on a second. Uh, I think there is a problem here. Uh, the email can used after then and then and next. Your mic is off. Uh, Shabab, just hold on uh, one second, one second, because uh, we have two. Uh, what is it? Um, we have two um, workshop together, so that's why uh, we are facing problems. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Um, uh, Sama, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So, if you have any 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 explanation, please explain it while I send these things to uh, Mr. Diva. I think someone asked a question. So, uh, 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 um, you can uh, answer. Uh, I'm just sending some things. Okay. Guys, if you have any question, I'm ready to answer. The screen is not shared, right? No, it is sharing. Shared? Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Yeah.
Shabab, just hold on. I, I, I'm just uh, sending some documents. I'm sorry for this. OK, uh, would you please, uh, Ms. Sama, uh, uh, tell uh, uh, Ms. Adiba that I send the materials on URG English. That, that, that there I sent it. Tell them, uh, tell yeah, her. Yeah. OK, sir. Okay. I got it. All right, Shabab, uh, I apologize for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, this, um, um, what is it, mess that happened. So yeah, somebody would ask me a question. Yes, tell me. Shabab, In this okay. email, you yeah. didn't. Don't use the uh, after then and then and next. Ah, Shabab, that is we using it. You know, uh, it is OK if you use it first, uh, but but see, we use after that and then next when they ask you about your what? Your daily routine. Your daily routine. Uh, it, you need to, you know, if you need to read your question according to your the question, you need to answer it. For example, if they ask you about your daily routine, you can use first. I I I I wake up at uh, five o'clock. After that, I take a shower. Then I go to uh, college. Uh, I have two classes uh, every day. Uh, next, I I I I don't know. I go back home uh, um, at three o'clock. Uh, in the evening, uh, I I don't know I I, I sleep for two hours. Uh, after that, I wake up and uh, you know have coffee, drink coffees. See, in daily routine, Shabab, you can say that. By the way, Shabab, I, I should also tell you about daily routine because maybe you will get a question about daily routine. So you can use after that next, uh, uh, then in your daily routine. Understood? Sir. Sir. Yes. مثلاً عادة مثلاً هذا ما الدير روتين مثلاً نقول إن إن ث إن ث مثلاً in the morning ونوصف مثلاً وث in the morning ونوصف بعدين مثلاً نقول in the afternoon ونص ونوصف بعدين مثلاً نقول night ونوصف مثلاً شو نسوي عادنا؟ صح ولا؟ That is okay, but but ask the question in 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 English, okay? Do not in Arabic. See. For daily routine, I will come. Don't worry, I will explain it from A to Z. But now let's let's focus on on email. So Shabab, sure, this is the way that you have to write. So uh, do not only do not only say this one. For example, uh, where is it? Uh, uh, where is your hometown? Here. Uh, uh, where your my hometown? Where my hometown is Ibri. Halas. Uh, you can uh, go there by taxi. Halas. No, explain more. One sentence where you explain it more. Weather. The weather of Ibri is hot. Then this one, activities. You can go hiking, you can go to the desert, and you can visit historical places. Okay, this is all right. And uh, this is all right, but your mark will not going to be so good, Shabab. As I said that, you need to, you know, uh, give examples. Try to write multiple sentences for your email, and even for your uh, second uh, question. You know that I'm going to show you now. So for the second question, Shabab, as you know that I explained it before. Uh, yeah. Write a paragraph about your favorite free time activities. Uh, here, free time activities, Shabab. Maybe it will be present. This is present or past, Shabab? The question. Task two, it has more marks, Shabab, by the way. Task two has more marks. So you can start your writing with task two. 
because it has more marks. So this one is in present yeah, sorry, or in past? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Mahsen, sorry yeah. for interrupting you. No, I'm sorry. But that uh, link, they cannot share their screen because you are the owner. You created the oh, link. Seriously? Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, so, they so let me. Ah, okay, let me. Would let you me. please join that uh, meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, Mr. Please uh, put it for Ms. Samia, Ms. Adiba, and uh, Ms. Moza. Also, Murtaz and Meta, so they can like meet the students. Guys, if you have a question, I'm ready to answer, even in Arabic. Until Mr. Mufsin can. If I make him so I'll add this other. Miss, no. uh, he give he give me the points only on email to writing. Uh, which looks it? نقاط إذا بقى يعطينا النقاط بس في الإيميل لا في البراغراف ما يعطينا لا. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, شباب. Uh, so many things happen. Okay, uh, what was the question now? Uh, I was explaining, uh, what is it, uh, question number two, question number two here. This is present or past? Write a paragraph about your favorite free time oh, Please, would you share your screen? Ah, oh, the screen is not shared. Oh, okay, perfect, thanks. Find it. Uh, shukran. Ah, oh, Shabab, yalla. This one is present or past? How do you write it? Past. Past? Past. More past. Where is past? Oh, write a paragraph present. about your favorite yeah, time present. activities. Where is past? Which word is past? Which word? Huh? Which word is past? They didn't say that, that write a paragraph about your favorite uh, free time. Uh, in, uh, in, 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 in uh, your last week free time. They didn't say that write your uh, free time activities, in, uh, you know, uh, your last week of free time activities. They are saying uh, write a paragraph about your favorite free time activities. General, your free time activities. They didn't say that last year or yesterday or your Eid favorite activities. This is present. More last, past. You know, how to answer this? I will not show you the the, 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 the answer. How do, you, how do you start it? Write a paragraph about your favorite free time activities. 
Give me an introduction first. How do you write the introduction? Yellow. Three time activities, so it's easy. Yalla, bismillah. Free. In this we don't have the book. Yeah, in this paragraph. Five time steps. I will, I will write. I will write. About my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, every time activities. Activities. Hey, what? Class. In this paragraph, I will write about my. So you should not say that your. Shabab, be careful. Here, shoot. They say that your means inta, inta. Don't say that I will write about your. You should say that I will write about my. 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 Be, careful. be careful here. Many students make mistakes and their mark will be harban because of this. My favorite free time. My. Okay, this is the introduction. Yalla, start. Continue. Continue. I have many activities. I have many activities. I have many favorite activities. Okay. Continue. For example. For example, I spend my time playing football. For example, what? I spend my time. I spend my time. For playing games. For playing games. OK, very good. Continue. For reading the, for reading the stories. And reading the stories. OK. And huh? some information. And you sometimes also, sometimes. Sometimes I say kids things. What do you do in your I free time? Like, I like I like it done in free time. Okay. It, give more uh, vocabularies. You know these vocabularies. Shuf here free time. In my free time, do you remember I said that use in my free time? Use that one. In my free time, I usually make sentences. Yalla. Uh, in my free time. I uh -huh. like drink coffee. Hey, what? In my so so we said it like this. I have many activities, free time activities, free time, free time activities. Uh, uh, for example, I play football uh, on weekends. Okay. With the friend. With, with my friends, hey, well. uh, Also, see, when you want to add information, also, I, I usually just, go to cycling I, with my brother. Say it. I usually go, cy uh, Wait, go cycling. Uh, I usually, I usually go cycling with my brother. Go cy uh, uh, what is it, cycling? Cycling with my brother. With my brother, very good. With my brother. Okay, great. And uh, go to visit my parents. And I visit. Oh. And I visit my parents. You sometimes see these words will help you. Sometimes. And uh, play 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 games in the phone. In the yes. my phone. I I play I play games. Or you can say I play video games, Shabab. That would be better. Video yes. games with my friends. With my, uh -huh, sorry, uh, I play video games with my friends, uh, or with my phone. Uh, uh, by my yeah. phone. By my phone. By my phone. Okay. Yes, yes, say yes. Say, don't shy. Yalla. I sometimes hang out with my friend. Uh, sometimes, I sometimes hang out with my friend. Very good. I sometimes hang out with my friend. Hey, wow, very good. I sometimes hang out. This is a very nice word. Hang 
out with my friends. OK, can you uh, give more information about this? See, you said that I hang out with my friends. I told you uh, give more of it, uh, you know, uh, example. Hang out, Shabab, what does it mean, hang out? Go with him. Not have, not have. Yeah, it means to go out. To Me go. OK, now give one sentence more of it to, with hang out with my friends. What can you because, say? Because uh, meet new friends. Because it's amazing friends. Because I want to make new friends. OK, this is Dalil. But I want you to say more a bit. This is Dalil. This is good also. I sometimes hang out with my friends, uh, with uh, with my friends, because I want to make my fr uh, uh, new friends, because I, I want to uh, I want to enjoy. OK, me, what me, will uh, new friends. we go to new spots. OK, I sometimes hang out with my oh, friends. I, we go I feel to new boring. Spot. I because I feel bored. OK, this is Dalil. But Shabab, I will ask you a question. You hang out means you go out with your friends. Where do you go? This is a more tabit question. Where do you go? I go to cinema with him. In Bhakti. Usually I in the beat. I go to cinema. This is a more tabit question. More tabit, you know, information. You said Ana Baroh Barra, na? Hang out. Mean Roh Barra. So where, 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 where do you go? I get, I Just usually blow go to cinema. Sport. OK. So in this way, Shabab, you need to keep and remember, Shabab, 100 words you need to write. And question number two has more marks. I think, for example, uh, question number two, uh, 20 marks is 20, uh, question number two. 30 marks is question number three. I don't know, uh, but 10 marks is more. So remember. So start with task two. Yeah, yeah. yeah start your 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 uh, your writing with task two because your mock is not taban. You are fresh. Start with task two with a paragraph. Then you know finish this one. Go to task one. Go to the task one, which is the email. Email is easy. Email is easy. You can, you know, because they have information here. Khali, you need to, you know, uh, answer the question and write some related uh, examples. But question number two, no. You need to think. You need to write 100 words. Hada is just, you know, 75 words. This one is Khali 75 words, but this one 100 words. So be careful, Shabab. You need to. Uh, what is Mr. this? Need to, yeah. Uh, in the question, the uh, part two, uh, don't write uh, this dear. Question? No, 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 no. Question number two. La, 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 la. No dear, mir. Uh, yes, uh, part one. Ah, uh, part one, Adi. If yeah, you write here, yes. it's okay. No problem. Part one is email, Adi. You can write yeah. dear or you can write hello, Alatu. No problem. Same. I mean, I, I, uh, I, 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 then, yeah, uh, dear, oh, yes. Ali. yeah, dear Ali, dear Ahmed, or you can say hello, Ahmed. You can use dear or you can say Allah to hello. Uh, thank you. Yeah, welcome. But here, Shabab, many students make mistakes here, Shabab. Shub, in the in the paragraph, have that paragraph. Shub, we don't say thank you very much. Many students say that thank you very much. See you soon. Most you soon. This is not an email. This is a paragraph. So Shabab, be careful. In the paragraph, you just need to explain about uh, uh, that topic. Maybe the, the, the topic is, yalla, describe your father. You need to khali talk about your father. Or maybe they will ask you to write, uh, they will write about your last day uh, here, about the past, Shabab. Write a paragraph about your last Eid holiday. This one is present or past, this question. The bus. Write a paragraph about your last Eid holidays. Huh. So, why it is a past? How do you know that this is a past, not present? Last. Right last. Because of last. Anyway, sure. Here, your your paragraph 
كامل كله all should be in the past everything must be in the past here you should know the uh, words all the kalamat in the past shabab if you don't know for example the past form of go is went the past form of visit visited play played meet met enjoy enjoyed sure if you don't know the mavi of kalamat then your writing will be harbat. So now let's practice. Let's see how much do you know? Okay, uh, answer this question. Where did you go last holiday? So first we say that in this paragraph, in this paragraph, I write about, I write about my last holiday. Holiday, okay. Okay, where did you go, Shabab? Answer it. Anna? In my I last holiday, I went to Salala. I went, Ewa. I went to Salala. Okay, خلاص. I went to Salala. Salala should be capital. Okay. With who? With who did you go? Or with whom did you go? This with one. My with my family. I Yala, go make a sentence. With make a sentence. With my friend. Make a sentence. I went. I went with my I friends. I went with, with my wife. My family. With my family. Okay. Where did you stay? I stay in the Saada. In the hotel? Or hey, what? The... How to say it? I stayed. Sure. Stayed. stayed. I stayed in the hotel. In the hotel. Hotel. For five. Okay. So, Shabab, I now I will, in, the in, in the exam, they will the not time. give you this question, Shabab. I am writing this question, but you should, you should, you know, make sentences. You should write. <laughs> Sure. I'm sorry. Okay, yalla. Uh, let's let's write it about. Let's write it together. I stayed in the hotel for five days. Make sentences, yalla, about your last holiday. Make sentences now. And I went to uh, dessert. I went to dessert. All your sentences it would be went to went to went. You should change it, Shreya. With us. I go. Uh, I swim. Lala. I swim. Uh, I will help you. The I jump. Okay, the jump. Make a session about the jump. There. Weather. The weather. The weather. The weather is good. The weather is nice. The weather is rainy. The weather is nice. Was. Oh, is it correct? The weather is no. nice. No. Very good. Why? Because he's Was. present. He is present. You should talk in the past. Mavi, kulun, all verb must be past. So was. The weather was. The weather was nice. Ah, be careful. The weather was nice. Uh, say that Anna Shubek, okay. uh, you know, some friends. I, I, I saw. Visited uh, some saw. places. Uh, they, uh, I saw. Different. I saw. I visit. I no, visit. No, no, no. Don't say I saw. We say I visited. I, I visited. I visited. My, my, my friends, and I, I, I got, I got, I got it. Relative. I got it. I got it. I don't know. Relatives, you know, for his uncle, uncle, kullo, you know, auntie. This is called agarab. Relatives, write this word. This is a nice word. Relatives, relatives. The weather was nice. Uh, we can, for example, you can say, I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed a lot, sure. I enjoyed, I enjoyed a lot. I visited, sure. Visited. I enjoyed. Kullo past, ma'avi, ma'avi, was, ma'avi, again. I visited. Okay, yalla, more, more, more. After then, I visited I go the wonderful beach. places. One by one. Okay, first uh, the boy. Who was it? Yes, say it. I I visited a wonderful places. Hey, what? Well, this is also. I also. When you want to add information, Shabal, say I also. I also visited some wonderful, wonderful very nice words. 
And you can say wonderful, amazing, use this word above. These adjectives, it will help you to improve your marks. Wonderful, amazing, awesome, awesome. Sure? This is a very nice word. Awesome. Awesome. Places, places, makan. Makan tarikhi, kif, we say makan tarikhi. Historical place. Hey, what? This is Muhammad? Well, the place. Yeah. Ah, Muhammad. Well, Akbar, Muhammad. I am fine. Makan places. Wash, wash. Okay, I also visited some wonderful, amazing, uh, or awesome historical places. Aywa, Yala, what else? Give me new thing. What else? I like to go to After then, I go to the coffee shop. I go, huh? I go? I went. I uh, went to go. I went. Mu, I go. Mu. I After that? <laughs> After that? Go oh, to uh to coffee shop. So is it correct? When I go to coffee shop. I went to go I went to go went. Went. Hey, so see. You should be careful. I went. Where is going to go and play? Blade will be blade. I played. Hey, what play? Of course, not playing. Yeah. ING yes. is something that you're doing now. Full no ED, yes. ED. Uh, yeah, be careful. Uh, I, I, play, I play, I play football. Uh, I basketball. play basketball. Basketball is so difficult, the spelling. Move basketball. Basketball is difficult, the spelling. Right? <laughs> but, uh, ah, Shabab, by the way, football, don't write it like this. Don't. This is a big mistake. All together, I play football with my friends. In the beach. Evening, in the evening, or at the beach. Very good. At the beach. At the beach. Ya salam, beach. I played football with my friends at the beach. Finally, you can say, finally. I stayed for four weeks. No, we, we told uh, over one week. We said it at the beginning. Finally. I advise you visit Salam. Uh, anyway, I, I advise. I recommend. I right suggest, opinion. I suggest. Yeah. Finally, I advise very well uh, in the society to support uh -huh. uh, this topic because uh, it is very useful. Okay, good. Uh, not topic. Uh, I, I I advise uh, all the society. Opinion uh, to, about this uh, travel. To visit. To visit. To visit Salala because it is a uh, amazing place. Finally, uh, I, uh, I, I want to show to buy. Stay in, in uh, easiest thing. I want you to give me easy thing. Finally, uh, how to say that? Uh, come back to Ibri. Finally, finally I am back to Ibri. Okay, to say that ar ar Arja. How to say? Finally, that? I return. I return. I returned, or I return got back. back. I got back or I returned. Finally, I returned. Returned. Finally, I got back. Uh, I, I got back. Uh, um, on. Uh, um, I got back. Uh, I got back to Ibri. I got back to Ibri. Uh, you know, uh, on Friday, for example. Finally, I got back safely to my place. Finally, I got back uh, uh, safely to my place. So finally, I got back on Friday. Or you can say, finally, uh, I I like to recommend Salala. Suggest, suggest. What does it mean, Shabazz? Suggest. Aktarah. For example, I suggest you. I suggest you to buy iPhone because it is a good phone. I suggest you. I suggest you. Yeah, it's advice. Same something like advice. I suggest you to visit Salala. So finally, I suggest Salala to all of you uh, to visit it. OK, this one is easy. Finally, I got back on Friday, for example. Or finally, I enjoyed a lot with my family and I or finally I had a great time. Even you can say that finally. 
I had a great time or whatever. There are many sentences you can write. OK, so see, Shabab, you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. And uh, what is that? Uh, uh, in your writing uh, in past tense, because maybe you will get the past tense, maybe not. Allah, Allah, nobody knows. Nobody knows. So you should know how to make these words into past tense. OK. Work, worked for uh, play, played, washed, cooked, loved, opened. You know, these words, you should know how to do it. And even these words, irregular words. You know, these are important. I what is the irregular part of buy? This one should buy, but see buy the past word buy is but you need to practice it. The spelling choose, chose, ikhtiar. find, found. What is the past word of have? Shabab, say it. Had. had. I had. Uh, See. Saw. So. Speak. Ana takalam. I spoke. spoke with my friend. Okay. I spoke. Write. Wrote. wrote. I wrote my homework. Yes. Maybe they will ask you. Uh, tell me about your daily routine. Your 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 last week daily routine. Maybe they will tell you. Write your uh, your last week daily routine. So you can say that I wrote my homework. After that, I wrote. I I spoke with my um, with my family. I met my friend. I met my friend. So you need to understand uh, all these. You know uh, what is the password of all these? See, Ben saw, speak, spoke. So Shabab, you need to be very careful. At least you should you should know how to. Uh, write the Mavi of these kalama, these words. OK, so this is the end of the uh, what is it? Uh, workshop. If you have any questions, Shabab, um, uh, you can ask me. Yeah. Any questions, Shabab? How was it? Everything was uh, clear for all of you, Shabab? Everything was clear? MashaAllah, 54 students. OK. Okay, the workshop was uh, Mufid. Was it Mufid, Shabab? I'm sorry. Say it one by one. Can Raise your hand and speak. Your... I'm sorry, she is in level two right now. Yes, uh, but uh, send this file in Miss Adiba and tell her uh, send to, uh, to students. Ah, uh, uh, send the what? You want uh, what? Exactly. File. This file. file. Which so, file? File of yeah, this yeah. workshop? Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, PowerPoint. Perfect. Okay, tamam, inshallah. I also will send it. Shabab, all of you should come to the English Society. There is a channel. We have a channel. So all of you uh, should come to the English Society. Sama, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Do we have the link for the English Society so that they can come to that uh, room? Let me check, sir. Then we'll send it to them. OK. If uh, like the persons can join directly. Without yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying, because they cannot access. We have everything, all these, you know, this PowerPoint that I know, these, this PowerPoint, I have it. If you want, I will uh, share it with all of you. OK, so you need to shabab review all these things. If you want to go to the level two, feed, study hard. Tonight, study hard, inshallah. All of you will remember the nukat, and tomorrow you will write, uh, you know, in a very nice way, inshallah. So be careful. Uh, this for level one? I'm sorry? Uh, this is for level one? Yeah, this is level one. Yeah, yeah. Level two is different. You Are you level two? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. But level, 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 level one. OK, level two, only the, the second part is OK. The past. Mr. I'm level three. Yeah, level three. What are you doing here in level three? <laughs> <laughs> level four. Mr. Level four. Mr. I level four. Level four. Some people are lying. Mr. Mr. I level six. Yes. 
كيف درجة أنا داخل سبيكينج؟ سبيكينج؟ جود جود ولا؟ I don't know. Did you do a speech? I don't know. I don't. I don't have the marks. We didn't see the marks. I. I don't know. Allah. I don't know. You. Did you speak well? Did you speak nicely? In the speaking. How was yeah. it? Yes. Okay. We will see the mark then. This we we on this in the speaking. The finally. The teacher in the speaking. Yeah. How was it? Was it difficult or easy? Yes, definitely. Uh, come on. Did you come to my workshop in the speaking easy, workshop? Easy. Ah, sure. I know said that easy. So, Shabab, yalla ro, ro, it's study. Khalas. Workshop is finished. Mister, yeah. W question. Yeah, yeah, please tell me. How? How? That is a yif in the khabar. Sama is here. <laughs> Sama. Yeah. What? Uh, how did the big question come in the exam? How many questions? Ya Rabbi, w, you still don't know w, two. Two questions. Yeah. Ah. No, how, ah. how did... I give you the question. Your voice is uh, breaking. Uh, Samah, 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 Oh, you know what you you know, according to these, uh, what is it? You need to read these sentences, these questions, these uh, information, and you need to write. Uh, for example, my hometown is Ibri. Uh, you can come to Ibri by bus or taxi. Uh, the weather of Ibri is very nice, like this. This is email. Email is halas, sure. Email is finished. We write an email like this. Uh, and then you have the second part. The second question is paragraph. Just hold on. I... Hello, Dr. Mohsen. May I say something? This is teacher Rabia. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mr. Rabia. So, how are you? Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. First of all, I'd like to, to thank the 79 Allah. students who have uh, attended. Okay. I think the student means, she means that sometimes there are four to five questions and sometimes there are four to five points the way you showed up. Uh -huh, this That's one. what she means. This one. Yes, yeah? the email. Sometimes they give five questions and sometimes five points the way you did. Oh, That's yeah. what she means. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. This yeah. She meant. All right. Yeah, this so, is what I mean, she meant. Yeah, as a teacher, uh, um, Rabia said that sometimes maybe they will give you one word like this one, for example, the weather. Hali, the weather. You should make a sentence. You should write about your hometown weather as i explained it before the weather of Ibri is hot for example you should make a these are khali, you know helping uh, what is it points no cut but you need to make sentences by yourself that's it and be careful in the what is it in in in, in task two do not write thank you very much regards i don't know such kind of thing this is a paragraph. In paragraph, you need to know the rules. Just explain and talk about the topic. There is no dear, hello, how are you? Don't start it with hello, how are you? And such kind of thing. Some students make mistakes in paragraph. So Shabab, be careful. Paragraph is different with email. Khalas, end of story. Any other question? Shukran, um, um, uh, teacher. Uh, 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 yeah. may, I, may I ask a favor, Dr. Mahsan? Yeah, yeah, sure. Could you please uh, send me via my uh, university email that PowerPoint that you have uh, done okay. now? Because I need to post it to my group. Okay, sure, sure, inshallah, sure. 
Thank you so much. Have a nice evening, everyone. That was well done. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. So, Shabab, uh, any other question? Halas, finish. Every, everything is clear, Shabab. You can ask me any question. Yalla. I'm, 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 I'm mojood. Yalla, Shabab. Do you have any doubts? Everything Mr. was clear? Yes. Sir, you need to unmute them because all of them are muted. No, no, they are not muted. They're they are not muted. They are. They can't talk. They ah, can't so talk. Are they? Oh, are, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. They were talking, yeah. <laughs> they are not muted. Okay. So, Shabab? Mr. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, please ask me. I get uh, 20 out of uh, 50 and, uh, with Mr. Can I, can I, can I have a uh, success to an exam or not? Okay, 20 out of 50 in what? In writing or in the total? Completely right? Total, reading? total, Mr. Yeah, why not? Ms. Uh, Rabia, of course, right? If she, if he gets a passing mark in the final, خلاص, he can go to level two, sir. Ms. Rabia? Yes, 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 ah. that, that's nothing. That's yeah. nothing. Of course, all depends on the final. Final, yes. Shabab. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. In final, uh, uh, they, they should get 20, uh, 30 out of 50 or 25 out of 50? 25. 25, yes. Then yeah. you go to level 2, inshallah. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry, Shabab. That's why we are saying tonight you should practice hard because Writing can help you a lot if you write nice things. It will help you to go to level two. Of course, reading, listening, all of them are important, but uh, writing can help you a lot. Any questions, Shabab? Finished? Tamam? Um, I want file. Ah, okay. Which one? Uh, the, the PowerPoint or the question? PowerPoint. Oh, no. uh, it's interesting. I will share it now. I will share it in the chat now. I will share it. I will share all of them now here. Shabab. I will share everything in the chat now. Hold on a second. Give me a second only. Give me one second. I'll uh, close my video and I will stop recording also. I guess it's better to. <laughs> okay.